Hi guys, my name is Frank. I'm from foryoutobrew.com and welcome to this very first edition of our brewing, coffee brewing techniques and ideas. And today it is my absolute privilege and pleasure to introduce you to our AeroPress recipe. Now the AeroPress comes in an amazing box with the bottom plunger, the top chamber, and you have a stirrer, a scoop to use to scoop your beans. Then obviously we have the lid. They give us paper filters, which are the correct, the correct size to fit really nicely into the little lid, which we seal on top. And then obviously there's also a coffee dosing uh, dosing channel where we can just pour in the beans just to measure and to prevent spillage and it also assists at the end if you're pouring into a smaller cup where you can turn it around and press nicely into a smaller mug or cup so it's very versatile and very useful so we're just gonna start straight away I've boiled some water I've let it cool down around 89 90 degrees Celsius the reason we're not going to use boiling water obviously with for, for very good reason is we have amazing coffee that's roasted and ground to perfection. I've already pre-ground the coffee. Uh, you want to ground the coffee to um, a medium fine, a fine medium around that area. Not too fine as fine as espresso, but you want the coffee to have some solubility. And the reason we cool the water is because we don't want boiling hot 100 degrees Celsius water to burn the coffee. We want to try and extract the best flavor out of this as possible. All right, so let's begin. Here's our AeroPress. So what I do is, is I normally just place it on till you can see a little bit of the, the rubber seal at the bottom. I have my ground coffee. I'm using around 16.5 grams and then around between 85 to 200 mils, but I'm just gonna take it to the top. So different people have different ratios. One is to 15, uh, one is to 18. Uh, the amount of, so for example, one is to 15 would be 20 grams of coffee to 300 mils of water. And the AeroPress sort of with coffee takes about 185 to 200 mils of water. So here's my coffee, which I've pre-ground. I'm just gonna pour it in. There we go. And get that ready. Then what I'm gonna do is, uh, you can time this if you want to, to time the brew from when I start pouring around one and a half minutes. An AeroPress doesn't need more time brew time. The average brew time for different methods can be three minutes, uh, two and a half minutes, and we'll talk about that. I think just to keep it simple, use what you have. I've just got this little Hario pour over kettle I'm gonna use. It's easy, but you can take your own kettle. And I'm just going to start to pour a little bit at the bottom. What you wanna do is just saturate the coffee and then I'm just gonna let it brew a little bit. Just let it open a bit. I might just give a little bit more, just make sure all the coffee is covered. Just let it oxidize, let it bubble, let it open up. And you get your AeroPress stirrer. And that's about 20 seconds, 25 seconds, it varies. And some people are very strict about their ratios. For example, if you're entering the AeroPress Championship, Obviously, there's specific recipes, but I just want you and I to enjoy what we do, enjoy the coffee, enjoy the moment. I just give it a good stir, just to make sure that the bulk of that coffee has had a nice time to just be soluble in the water, just absorb, and then I'm just gonna pour the rest gently to the top. If you want a slightly bolder, stronger coffee, I would recommend that you increase the amount of coffee you use, for example, you can use 18 grams. Some people even use 20 grams. The more coffee you use in an AeroPress to the water, less water, more coffee, less water ratio, becomes a little bit firmer to push down because you're compressing it. And um, But it's very much personal taste and how you like it. I think stick around the 1 is to 15 ratio and you're safe. All right. So we are ready to take our compartment. This is our filter part where we're going to take the, the little paper filter, just place it in. I'm going to use just an empty milk jug, easy, whatever you have in your home. You can use another mug. You can use even a measuring jug if you have one in the kitchen. I'm taking the water. I just want to pre-wet the paper filter. Just want to pre-wet it so it's not dry. There we go. Then I'm going to place it on. You'll see there are slots for it and you want to turn it tight so that no coffee can escape. 
This is ready now. What I then gently do is take my fingers, press down, just get some of the air out. And the idea is, so as I say, if you have a mug or a bigger, taller mug, you can use this to pour into. What I'm going to do then is, I'm going to take my cup, place it on the outside, turn it over, and we are ready. All of this is possibly a minute, 30 seconds. I think we get a bit too hung up on the exact time. Take your time, enjoy yourself, and you will enjoy the coffee. Make sure to bring it closer to yourself, have a firm grip, put it can slide around, and then we are gently gonna start pushing down. The finer the grind, the more coffee you use, the firmer it will be, but try and use a medium fine grind setting. Just keep pressing down until you reach the end. You hear a little hiss and you have enough. Make sure that your cup size is the right size when you press down. And beautiful, beautiful. I've used less water and there we go. There's a beautiful extracted cup of coffee. Enjoy, enjoy. Delicious.